Hi, it's Michelle from Movement Lesson. And the question is about standards. Okay, um, loaded question. First of all, when most people are looking at standing, they're thinking of two legs down, and that's a stand. No one stands like this except for a beef eater, and they're protecting the Queen of England, um, and they're meant to be very submissive, but yet protective, and this is why they're put in those positions. If you look at any person standing, and again, I'm looking at adults differently, children as well. A child never stands still. They're always moving. Part of the reason why I created the Astro work is because of that. We move within opposition to gravity, and to do so, we need rotational movements. It's just that simple. All of our neurodevelopment, all of that is not, we are not muscle-based creatures. We are movement-based creatures, but we have to move within opposition to gravity. When that doesn't happen, we are now succumbing to gravity. This is what you have with SMA. We are succumbing to gravity, right? So what happens is the body starts to pass or die or whatever you want to call because of the way the genetics are shutting down. And I have to say the word die because the brain knows it needs to go into a protective device, right? So that means heart, lungs first. The muscles just go. So what also happens in the muscles, and this is also I presented, uh, again, um, I can send you the link to my Oxford presentation. You already have the link to my Harvard presentation. I can offer you the paper too on standing, not standards. Um, and what needs to happen. We, we organize standing through the pelvis, not the feet to the floor. This is why I'm not a fan of a lot of the therapies and some that you've mentioned, because it's not structure-based, it's movement-based. If you don't have functional movement, I don't care how well you're standing, if you can't now transition from here to here or here to there, or brush your teeth or feed your face, those are functional movements, and to have a functional movement, they have to go through your minor and major organ points, and they also have to have rotational movements. So, with the SMA, um, and again, the other paper that I presented, is I believe that the myosin atkin relationship was read wrong. It is not a sliding filament, but it's a rotational filament. So again, when I am working and when I am countering all these kind of movements, right, this is what the brain does to develop where it is in space and how to move. If you're looking for strength with SMA, you are not going to get it. That's the hypotonia. It just won't happen. So you need functional movement. To have that, you have to have balance, counterbalance, and rotation. And you're not going to develop that flat on your back either. Um, I get it that the, the, the understanding of where you are at is to be at your transitional milestone, but at the same time, you have certain genetic conditions that are not going to remain static in those transitional milestones. And that, that brain is absolutely fine. There's nothing delayed about your child. SMA doesn't cause any kind of cognitive delays. It causes, quote, delays physically. But the delays are not delays. They're an impairment from the system from SMA. Because when the system goes onto life support, those systems shut down. So compression, I don't believe, is the way to go. You have to offer those functional rotations. It might look the same in some aspects, but it's all, every muscle, that myosin atkin has to be able to spin. And that's what happens with SMA. And this is where you get the whole, the, the, the hand movements. Now, SMA2 is a bit different, but still, you will get the compression in the spine. I totally concur with people's evaluations. I don't concur on the way that they approach it. That's why I'm different, but that's why it's movement lesson. If that's not something you agree with, then this isn't a conversation to have. So, um, I work with SMA a lot. They thought my son had SMA. My son is hypotonic. I'm very familiar with it as a, as a mother as well as a practitioner. Um, but, but this is where your daughter needs to work on. This is where you'll see the moves. She's, you know, she's moving. She's not doing a lot of things, right? But what you're missing are all of these kind of movements. The backwards, again, it's not about putting your foot back and standing backward. Again, it's that rotation that there, that's rotation that's there. So I do believe in, quote, standing, but functional standing. I'm not a fan of standers. However, if that's what's going to put her in a social situation that she can hang out with friends, you know what? We all need that sometimes. 
and, and life isn't perfect that way and it has to be. As far as saving the hips, I'd have to need to see the hip x-rays and look at it that way. There's proof on both ways that just because you're standing doesn't mean you're saving the hips, right? But it all depends on NICU time, had too much NICU time, then you're gonna have a thicker bone density. Um, within the pelvic region, kids with NICU time have a much higher rate of subluxing than kids that haven't. You know, we can go on and on there, and that's a whole other conversation as well. You have to evaluate your individual, what you have to do right for your child, um, not as a whole. And so, and that's where too, that's why I don't work on a diagnosis. I might mention a diagnosis for your visualization, but that doesn't mean I work on a diagnosis. I'm going to do what's right for that person. I hope that helps. You know, again, you have to do what's best for your child um, in any given circumstances. That's why I dropped the physical therapy part and started to do all of this. I was frustrated and even a lot of the therapies I did do, I was frustrated because I wasn't getting the answers that I needed to help my child. Discovering a theory in gravitational law, you know, and the physics that I'm doing behind it, that's been a bonus and I'm using that science to explain it to you, but because again, I'm still, you know, I want to help people and I'm always looking for a better way of doing it. So, hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.